I'm starting off this DIY project with a walk maker that I found at Lowe's. Now, when I saw this, it reminded me of something fancy that I saw at Z Gallery. So this walk maker is typically like some sort of mold where you just put in cement and then you get the mold for the design that you want for the outdoor. Now, when I saw this, because it's really strong, I had to get it for a project and they cost $26. So I got four of them because what I'm going to be making is something that would look like what I saw at Z Gallery and it was going for about $3,000. So getting four with a price of $26 for one, I think it's the score. This had a lot of dust and cement residue all over it. So I'm going to be washing it and cleaning it down for the project. They usually sell these at the construction area. That's why it came so dirty. I would like to take this time to apologize to you guys for not having the picture that I saw at Z Gallery. And I'm just using my imagination here to remember what it was to use these molds to recreate what I saw at Z Gallery. Now that I have these all cleaned, I'm going to be spray painting them gold. I know I spent about $112 with tax to get these four walk makers, but I am not worried at all only because I know what I saw and it was going for about $3,000. So if I can make mine for less than even $150, I'll be happy compared to $3,000. When they were dry, I brought them in. And so you guys know these walk makers stand on their own and they're really strong and sturdy, but I'm gonna be joining them together with screws. That way I can use it for a coffee table. Because the plastic is pretty strong, I had to pre-drill holes first before then putting in the screws. This made it super easy for me to connect all four pieces together. Now, how easy was that? I will be covering up the screws by spray painting them gold. And some other places that got scratched during the process of adding the pieces together will also be spray painted gold. When it was dry, I brought it to my living room and it was so beautiful. This is where I'm gonna have it. And then I do have a glass that's 30 inches wide. That's gonna be on top of it. Now you can get a glass like this from a thrift store at a very low price between $30 to $50. The rule of thumb is not to have your coffee table higher than the sofa in your living room. So this is just about right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.